Hello, my name is Kyle. I work at the Broad Institute at the Imaging Platform, and I'm going to give a demonstration of how to annotate nuclei using GIMP and Cell Profiler. We're going to be following the tutorial, the annotation tutorial, which can be found at the Cell Profiler GitHub Tutorials Repository. If you clone that repository and you look in the folder, uh, we're going to be annotating nuclei within this image, BBBC 21 random. If we look at this image, you can see that this is a fluorescence image and it's of a stain that uh, highlights uh, the nuclei and uh, some cytoplasmic material as well. So to annotate these nuclei in GIMP, first we need to open GIMP. We'll create a new file using this image. And uh, the most straightforward way to do this is just to drag the image into a blank GIMP window. This imports the image. We can uh, then adjust the image, the brightness and contrast so that the objects that we're interested in, the nuclei, can be clearly seen. You can adjust it further. You'll notice that there is an illumination gradient. At least the nuclei near the top of the image are not as clearly illuminated as those in the center and at the bottom. So we might have to adjust this in the middle of our annotation to make sure we can see the boundaries we're interested in. We also need to make sure that the image is in the right mode. To correctly do the annotation, we need to be in RGB mode. It's because we're going to use colors for the annotations. And then we need to create a layer in the annotation layer. I'm going to call this one nuclei. And then uh, we're going to use the pencil tool to draw outlines around our nuclei. So I'm going to zoom in on the, the middle of the image here. So we have a I'm drawing, I'm hovering the mouse over a nuclei here, and I will then draw a red outline around the nuclei. This will be our annotation. Um, it's important that there aren't any breaks in the outline. And um, otherwise, uh, it won't be segmented properly. And we also need to Draw it, it, has, it can be just one pixel, uh, but some blue pixels need to be added to regions where there is background. So now, with the blue and the red, now we know that the pixels on the interior of the outline are an object, and the pixels on the exterior of the red outline are background. Alright, so I'm going to skip ahead and open a pre-annotated... Um, image, the same one that we're working on here. Okay, so it's the same image, and uh, this is a uh, completely annotated look at our nuclei. And the next step is actually to hide the layer with uh, the image so that all we see are the outlines, and go to File export as a PNG and we will save uh, this PNG. I've already saved it and so now we are ready to create a label image using Cell Profiler. And we are done with GIMP so save your work and we can close this. So there's a pipeline in the annotation tutorial called Objects from GIMP Outlines. This is a look at the pipeline. There's several modules and steps uh, we use to create a label image. You'll load the pipeline, uh, you'll load the outline image, so that would be the image here. So we see that there isn't any of the original image here, it's just the outlines and annotations we've created. You'll run this pipeline and that will create a label image. And then Finally, what uh, we can use the
this labeled image four is to assess the performance of a, another cell profiler workflow, uh, perhaps to use uh, an automated approach to segment the nuclei. And so we have a demonstration of that pipeline here as well. So this is a short pipeline that uses the Identify Primary Objects module to segment the nuclei. And then we'll compare the output of this module to our hand annotated nuclei and see how well we did. So let's run this here. So here's our automated segmentation of this image. And you can see it does a pretty good job. Uh, some nuclei more resemble uh, what we see by eye than others. You can see it's a little fuzzy where uh, the boundary, you, we, this is uh, trying to segment nuclei from a stain that is not specific to the nuclei. And so um, you can see where it's having trouble uh, finding uh, this, this sharper boundary. And then we can assess the performance of this uh, using the measure object overlap module. And here we see in the upper left, uh, this is where our prediction overlaps with our hand annotated nuclei. In the upper right, this is the area of the hand annotations that were not uh, predicted from our automated segmentation. And as you can see, it's uh, our Identify Primary Objects module is sensitive to the illumination, and all the poorly illuminated cells near the top of the image were not uh, segmented at all. In the bottom left, uh, we have um, the prediction uh, subtracting the hand annotated, and you can see all the extra pixels, the false positives uh, that were predicted, and you can see the stain not being nuclear specific, we're capturing a lot of signal surrounding the nuclei. And uh, finally, what we have here is this is uh, where the background of our uh, manual annotations overlaps with the background of our predictions. And we can see um, it mostly resembles the false positives and uh, the, the image is dominated by the outlines from our predicted module. Okay, so uh, this is this has been a demonstration of how to segment cells using uh, GIMP and annotate uh, images using GIMP, and then how to uh, then incorporate those annotations into a cell profiler workflow. I hope this helps. Thank you so much.